right, guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we're really the Office Blokes, aren't with, we? With Mike back. Yeah, yeah all three of us. <laughs> Mike's been in, he's been away, he's been back in, he's been away, he's been back in, he's been away, he's been back in, he's been away. <laughs> Last to keep you guessing, that's what it is. We're, it, we didn't even know where he was. Uh, we've got some other YouTube channels, Patreon page, social media, merch, all that good stuff. Click the link below and it'll take you where you need to go. Simple as that. Do you've been, you've nice. been looking for gas. Looking for gas, yeah. It's a bit of a shortage in there, apparently. Yeah, didn't find any. Fair enough. This is a Patreon request, so we'll hand over to Office Bloke Mike. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, for Sharona. Cheers, uh, Sharona. This is it's your best, Sharona. My Sharona. Oh. Uh, this be best practical joke ever from uh, Josh Wolf. Yeah. Best practical joke ever. Have that's we done a, a Josh Wolf before? No, I, but I, that's a massive title, isn't I've it? I've never heard of him. To be the best one ever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will mention the fact that off, over the last seven weeks, someone, one of us has been off for four of those weeks. So this is a Patreon request. We're a little bit behind. I was off for three weeks. Mike was off for one. I've not been time off yet. Had a day. <laughs> days. <laughs> That's for a few now. I have had about three days now, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, best practical joke ever. Josh yeah. Wolf. Let's do this. I love practical jokes. This is my best one ever. My buddy asked me to throw him a, 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 a bachelor party. And I was like, man, you don't want me to do that. I said, I'm a comedian. I always go for the laugh, and then I hope we can shake hands and be friends later. But I'm going to fuck up your day. <laughs> and he was like, I don't think you'll do that. I said, I don't think you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already trying to decide how to fuck with you, so... Can we just, like, uh not have me do it and he was like buddy you've been to vegas more than any of us you plan the party you get the girl now look i got him a girl for the end of his party that's what he wanted a stripper i'm not a stripper guy i never have been a stripper guy i don't really care but he wanted a stripper for the end of his party that's cool i wanted the beginning of the party to be for me <laughs> and what did i want to watch what do i like way more than strippers i like weird shit I don't know. Guys, if you're like, hey man, this is about to be some weird shit happening in an alley, I'm be like, I'm gonna fucking watch that. hundred percent, I love it. How weird? I wanted people walking out of his party like this. What the fuck just happened in there? Like, was some guy walking out with a limp? Like, why are my hands dirty? Like, weird shit, right? <laughs> Where did I think I could find that? I went on Craigslist in Vegas. <laughs> oh, guys, I have never felt so horny and sad at the same time in my entire life. <laughs> scrolling through, scrolling through. It's all sex stuff. I don't want that. I want weird. And then weird jumped off the screen at me. This woman's advertisement was three words. That's it. And those three words were, I'll wrestle ya. And I was like, fuck yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> that at least deserves a phone call, I think, right? <laughs> I call her on the phone. She is six foot two fifty. And her special skill is that she'll come over to your house, she'll get naked, and she'll toss you around for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely something that happens to you in it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> And I'm watching, watching him get thrown around. Uh, reminiscing. <laughs> His eyes glazed over there. 6'2". Six, 6'6 six, six foot 2'50". I was thinking I could take her. She's get me, a, get me a Boston crab. <laughs> Not naked. <laughs> Give you a stink face. Oh, man. Little uh, office bloke swipe on the nose. <laughs> hey, starts off as a stink face, ends up with a tea bag. <laughs> <sighs> And I was like, well, what time can you get here? <laughs> <laughs> so she shows up and I open the door and she's legitimate six foot two fifty, right? And she's holding a foot long sub and twenty-four buffalo wings. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. And she waves them in my face and she goes, You got a room where I could go fuel up before the match? And I was like, <laughs> First of all, fuck yes, I do, right in there. <laughs> and I said, second of all, you should know that the person you're wrestling today doesn't know there's going to be a match. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> She's just going to run out naked yeah. and just tackle his uh, mate. Yeah. This is exactly what I'd love to see. I'm on the same land as this guy. Yeah. I yeah. can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I don't know if that changes your professional approach at all. So she goes off into her room. My buddy comes over, and we've got him on a stool just like this one. And um, my other friends are standing behind him, and we get him blindfolded. And he's, well, I don't want to ruin the surprise, you know. And he's like, oh, this chair is one Ralphie May away from an accident. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't think he knows he's 900 pounds? He fucking knows. <laughs> so, um. He's sitting there and he's like, <laughs> I'm so excited. And I was like, <laughs> me too. <laughs> and he says, I'm ready. And I said, okay. And I call her out. Now, none of my other friends knew what I had planned. <laughs> so when she walked out of that room naked, collectively, they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and as she got closer, I saw she still had buffalo wing sauce around. <laughs> I was going to get her a napkin, but I was like, I'm sorry, that shit is too funny on your face. I am so sorry. <laughs> so she stands in front of him, six foot 250. Oh, I forgot to tell you the best part. My buddy, 5'8". <laughs> And 140 and like a like a like a hoo -hoo, like a soft 140, right? So the size difference alone, like I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fucking like it. And he says, I'm ready. And I said, okay, and I take off his blindfold. And the only word he could get out of his mouth <laughs> she before him. she <laughs> ripped him out of his chair <laughs> was why? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and she lifted him up like this his little feet were dangling in the air she started to toss him around the room like a rag doll and we were all like <laughs> Guys, she would jump on top of him and he had to push her fat out of his face to talk to us. He would be like, tell her to stop. How long is she going to be here? I can't breathe. Why does she smell like buffalo wings? Right? There was one time where she was straddling him like this, beating him in the face with her titties. Just... <laughs> I don't think you're getting the right visual. Okay. Uh, guys, this isn't five foot two, 110 pound, bink, bink, titties. This is six foot, 250, just. <laughs> titties. That's I'm struggling to see the downside so far. What's the problem with this? <laughs> Funny. He's got buffalo wings, it's got boobs, <laughs> yeah. it's got nudity. So it's like a great Wesley. night. <laughs> Where's the joke in all this? <laughs> it would have been better up if they'd, if they'd lathered up both of them. I, oh, yeah. Wouldn't it? Well, if you lay on top of him, he'd fire out the window. Wasn't That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Squeezing like that and he pops up in the air. <laughs> the bigger titties were, they made that noise through the air. <laughs> it was like being hit with a tit missile, just. <laughs> Dude had a swollen eye from titty punches. You've never seen that in the history of fucking never ever. I'll tell you that right now. So she thinks her job is done, right? She walks over here to this side of the room. My buddy gets up mad. Jumps on the back. You know when you can tell somebody's mad where they never take their eyes off of that thing they're mad at? So he gets up and he walks away from her like this. And then something in him just snapped. And he just looks at her and he goes, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> and like a wave of calm crashed over her. Like serious, like Bruce Lee, enter the dragon calm. She was just like. <sighs> <laughs> and 
they ran at each other. <laughs> Guys, do you understand what's happening? They're fucking fighting for real now. <laughs> it's the best gift I've ever given to myself ever. Are you kidding me? They're running at each other. I'm like, I don't even know how this is going to end. Oh my God. Right? They're running at each other and my buddy was mad and he screamed, I want to take you down. <laughs> running at each other, full speed. And he ran into her. I'm going to tell you something. He really did try to take her down. I'll tell you what. He did not. <laughs> All I can tell you is that when his little body hit hers, she kind of absorbed him for a second, and he disappeared. I was like, where the fuck did he go? And then she just boom, shot him out across the room. Boom, and he slid on the floor, and one of my friends ran up to him and went, that just fucking happened to you! <laughs> And she was mad that he challenged her or something. So she goes to us, you want to see my finishing move? You want me to finish him? Oh, no. And I grew up with Hulk Hogan and Randy the Macho Man Savage. So I was like, you fucking finish him! Won't be a finish, though, if it doesn't include the inner, inner thighs. Hey, oh. <laughs> Around the head. Yeah. What, what was the, the wrestler that was a sumo wrestler and he used to sit on people's face? Yeah. Uh... Yo, was it Yoko something? That's what he did. That was his move, the stinky face. Yeah, it was like the stink face. Yeah, 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 in the WWF years ago. Really? I can't remember his name. I know what you mean. Yeah, Yeah, I hope it's going to be that. I mean, I keep forgetting she's naked for this whole thing as well. Oh, I've not forgot. I've got got this. (laughs) As if I'm there. Planting in the brain. brain. (laughs) I can't remember this. (laughs) I didn't know if she was coming off the top rope or dropping a leg or whatever. I wanted to see that shit, right? So she starts to run to him and she was like, finish him. And we go, yeah. She goes, finishing move. And we go, yeah. And she goes, you want to see the finishing move? And we go, yeah. And then she sat on his head and we went, no. (laughs) (laughs) Not that finishing move. Fuck. (laughs) Guys, his little head disappeared. (laughs) All you could see were his tiny arms slapping her back. Like, (laughs) oh, it was a fight for life. I'm telling you that right now. It was the weirdest shit I've ever seen. It was like a reverse birth. It was fucked up. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) And here's how you know you pulled a good practical joke. A good practical joke is a joke that continues to pay dividends long after the joke is over. So like a month and a half after the wedding, after the uh, 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 party, two weeks before the wedding, I ran into his dad. <laughs> and his dad goes, uh, hey, you're not coming to the wedding? I was uninvited to the wedding, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it, totally worth it. You guys want to see how he uninvited me? This is my favorite part. This is how he uninvited me. <laughs> she just got off of him. And he stands up and he goes, you're not coming to the wedding! <laughs> 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 so here's how his dad goes, you know, come to the wedding? I go, no. And he goes, why not? And I said, oh, uh. Tim didn't tell you? And he said, no. And I go, uh. Well, do you got a couple minutes? Sit down. <laughs> and then his dad used that story as his best man speech at the wedding. <laughs> Fucking winner, winner. Nice. Yeah, funny that. Yeah, it was a good, good story, story, wasn't it? Well, not sure he's the best one ever. Uh, but yeah, it was funny. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it was a good, good story. Mm. Definitely. The world is awash with practical jokes now because of TikTok and just oh, imagine, YouTube yeah. and because of everything. So it is a bold statement, mm. the best practical joke ever. It was just a great story. Yeah, it was. Yeah, very That's good story. It was. Good story, well he told. He had me there, though. It was well told because yeah. it had me there. I was in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's, it's one of those well-practiced stories in that you can tell that that's probably just I know he is a comedian but just off the back of telling people that story mm. it's going to become more performative yeah, I think you can like, tell he's added maybe a few bits and bobs over the well, years you got to embellish, well, you know, embellished a bit and, yeah. what was it a 12 minute uh, yeah, performance yeah it was yeah, yeah. so that's a, that's a comedy night yeah. That's, yeah. that's your part on a comedy night if you're there with you know four or five other comedians that's mm. your bit done it is yeah and so it had everyone laughing yeah 
you know? Oh, right. massively. It was good that I enjoyed it. Yeah, funny. Yeah, funny. Nice when he started off, I thought, mm, not sure. And then when he got into the storytelling, he was a funny guy. Yeah, it, yeah. it took me a minute or two to relate to him. Mm. To be same, honest, that's there was, yeah, yeah, there was just yeah, something yeah, about it where I was so. like, <clears throat> "Yeah, same." I, I couldn't quite peg. Just getting you know, used what? to the style, isn't it? I suppose yeah. the delivery style, you know, because we've had a lot of different comedians, haven't we? So, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but I did like fair it. Enough. Thought yeah, it was yeah. Finish that. That was a great story. Yeah, like that. So yeah. thanks, Sharona, for that. Cheers. Sorry, it took us ages to get round to it. Yeah. We're trying. Mm. You're very trying. It was Mike's <laughs> fault, to be fair. Yeah, it was Mike. He doesn't tell us any of the Patreon requests anymore. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys.